जैसे हिंदी सेइंग कहते हैं कि जो लोग देर से आते हैं वो लोग दुरुस्ती से आते हैं और दुरुस्ती से तो क्यों नहीं आएंगे जब पुलस धर शायजू दामोदरन और कौशिक वरुण हमारे साथ हो ऑन द लेट्स फुटबॉल लाइव शो एवरी सैटरडे एट 2 पी एम टूडे एट टू ओ सेवन पी एम सो पॉलिस टू स्लाइड डिले टू ऑल आर फ्रेंड्स ऑन यूट्यूब ट्विटर एंड फेसबुक एट द मोमेंट वी ब्रिंग टू यू अनादर एपिसोड फ्रॉम वॉट्स बिन एन इवेंटफुल वीक इन द हीरो आई एस एल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सीजन प्लेड इन द लास्ट वीक ड्यू टू रीजन ऑफ हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी but nonetheless we have a very very special guest joining us on the show who will be coming on the show later but before that let's get the usual suspects of shaiju damodran polas thar and kaushik varun swoop right in please at any given point of time like you always do so nice to see your happy smiling faces shaiju chetan <laughs> polas kaushik uh, you know kaushik you don't have too much hair for it to be sorted in that manner let me just uh, tell you that right now but how has the week been gents i mean uh, downtime because we've not had as much football how have you guys spent your time pulas well i think one of my favorite hobbies is to stare out on the balcony and contemplate the meaning of life so i've been uh, doing that so how far <laughs> have you reached how far have you reached with regard to that at the moment it's absolutely nowhere but um <laughs> updating my playlist ignoring all your text messages you know there's, there's so so many things to do <laughs> you know you just just drying dirty linen in public all the time shall you chetan how's your week been Yeah so yes thank you and hi pulas then hi varun uh, so let Hello. me uh, let me uh, uh, let me answer to pulas first because i wish that he could complete his journey uh, for for finding out who he is actually so uh, <laughs> we we all three we all three wishing all the very best so uh, so yes it had been a very busy week uh, for me even though without uh, non football days are more but uh, i had an opportunity to do some commentary for kabaddi also so i am doing oh, kabaddi 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 <laughs> this week this this week so but to be to be very frank uh, uh, personally say it was a very very bad feeling that uh, very disappointed not able to do much football and i hope uh, uh, things would get better and uh, things will get uh, th- things will get in good shape this week and uh, football will flourish again let's football Fingers crossed, Shaijit Chetan. Varun, uh, how many kabaddis do you think Shaijit Chetan can do in one minute? Uh, you know, holding his breath. How many? Uh, <laughs> May, yeah, maybe, maybe. Like he's too fast with his words, uh, and he's too good with it. But uh, yes, football. I missed a lot this week, and you know, I was trying to play a bit of football, but my hamstring injury is still there. But uh, yes, I missed a lot of those matches which got cancelled. But I hope to see those double headers soon, and you know, people getting back in the frame of that footballing mind. We have absolutely. a Deshaun Brown. We have a Deshaun Brown <laughs> among amongst us. Ah uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Now you know, for us, we can enjoy some downtime. Rather, not really enjoy in the situation like this, but we can at least let our hair down and let loose a little bit. But for football, it's very different. Ah, uh, you know, ah, uh, prospect because ah uh, they have to keep training, they have to keep their bodies mm-hmm. fit, and um, SC Bengal was one of the teams which had a match in the last week, and they got their first win of the season. So we're going to be having. their rock at the back their lead and someone who's been absolutely instrumental in them getting their first win of the season i am of course talking about indian national team center back and sc is the goal center back adil khan who's going to be joining us in about 5 4 3 2 and 1 adil why don't you just come right in hello and welcome to let's football live how are you today adil hi 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 everyone yeah i'm good good doing good Good to see firstly, you guys. Firstly, thank you so much for joining us at a short notice. I know that you've come straight from training, uh, and yeah. because you've got your first win of the season, what kind of uh, training session has Mr. Rivera put you through today? It's match day minus two. So, uh, yeah. what what was it like? It's a bit difficult because of COVID uh, protocols. We have to uh, start the trainings a bit late. You know, at eleven o'clock we start the training uh, on the pitch. It's quite hot, but accordingly he adjusts the timings and adjusts the you know the. the kind of trainings we need before before match like match minus 2 and minus 1 i think uh, we are doing it well now uh, in the previous uh, segment like in previous when the other coaches were there it was a bit tough and difficult we were not fresh for the matches but now i think we look more fresher and more uh, energetic yeah no and and with your leadership at the back i'm sure that sc is doing all is getting transmitting the energy through the team with the with the kind of leadership qualities that you possess and that you're providing to them through uh, the center back position in fact uh, varun and i were discussing earlier about uh, how a win can actually change the mood and the morale around so varun why don't you want to take that up with uh, with uh, adil 
Uh, exactly. Like, first of all, on behalf of all the East Bengal fans, you know, I would like to thank you because when the season started, we all were wondering why is Zadil Khan not getting playing time? Why is he on the bench? Why is he not in the starting eleven? And then when you joined the team, you know, you proved yourself. You know, rock solid defence. The defence improved and you were outstanding. But the win was very important and you finally got the first win. So, how is like the uh, feeling in the camp that most feel like after the first three points of the season? Yeah, it's obviously, it's, it's, it was a great feeling for us because uh, we were waiting for this opportunity, you know, we were waiting for this uh, victory for the for us, for the team, for the for the fans, for management, everybody, like we were very disappointed with the results. Uh, it was not bad results what we got in the previous games, but here and there, a little bit of, uh, you know, individual mistakes and stuff, we, we started considering goals and uh, there was no fighting spirit though, you know, in the beginning, but now... Uh, looking at the table, uh, it's not too far. If we can try, we can still try to come, uh, you know, in a, you know, higher in the table. Only thing we need to fight the way we are fighting now, and with the victory, yes, uh, everybody's happy and everybody wants to give their best in coming matches. Yeah, uh, Adil, you know, we all enjoy dissecting the sport, and we enjoy dissecting the hero ISL in particular. So I'm going to throw it to our in-house analyst, Mr. Pulas Thar, to to take you through the next uh, the the next topic in this conversation, which is. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Pulas, uh, SC is Bengal's first win of the season, like we've already been doing. Of course, of course. And, you know, I think one thing is, as, as Adil spoke about, obviously the mental makeup in terms of going into a game and getting a victory obviously comes against a former team of yours. You must have been charged up. But what was different, Adil, in terms of, uh, I agree that the physical preparation is very important because of the way you want to play, but... What was different in terms of wanting and getting the win? We'll come to Mahesh as well, but on the pitch... Was there a different feeling? Of course, you know, more than more than the pitch, we have more difficulties outside the pitch, you know, right now with the COVID situation, as we all know that we all are suffering with that. And we are trying to, you know, uh, cope up with everyone together uh, in this situation. But um, yes, uh, it was different because uh, the previous two, two, three matches, what we played and uh, we did well. We, we know we are the kind of a team where we can go uh, fight, you know, we can only fight for the uh, for the ball, for the battles, what we get in the in the match, and it was just different because uh, we were waiting. We know that um, FC Goa likes to play uh, a lot of ball position, and we were just sitting down and waiting for our chances, and that's what we got. Uh, luckily, uh, Mahesh got uh, two goals out of their mistakes. So this is what we were waiting for. We were we were just locking the channels in the middle. We didn't allow them to play through us. Uh, that was our plus point. And yes, uh, we did, uh, the defensive-wise, we did the same what we did in the previous matches. So, that's what worked for us and that's, that's the difference. And you have seen a lot of, you know, uh, players showing energy on the ground now than, be, than the previous matches. So, this is what I think we got the victory because of that. And we stick to our plan, what we were actually wanted to. And, and what about, you've been around in the football circuit for a while now. What are your impressions of uh, Mahesh? You know, he's... he's the two goals, obviously, it's almost a culmination of all his mehnat so far in all these games. But what do you make of him? You see him day in, day out in training. Yes, he's a really good kid. You know, he's, he has he has the talent, you know, to prove himself. In the beginning, he started a little slow. He was a little shy to prove himself on the pitch. Now, getting so much time, like I think eight or nine matches, he already started uh, with that confidence and uh, with that uh, lot of experience now with these, these matches. And Team started doing well, and so when he got the opportunity, I think he he scored for us, and we wanted someone to score for us, and he was the one lucky guy got two goals. Uh, I wish him luck uh, in coming matches. Hopefully, he get more goals for us and boost his confidence in coming matches. Fantastic, fantastic. You know, Adil, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret over here. We actually wanted Navram Mahesh to join with you as well on the show, but we were told he's a tad bit shy. So why don't you just nudge him a little bit to maybe come and have a conversation <laughs> with us the next time around as well? Why don't you? Next do that? time, I will, I will, I will get him next time. But right now, we just came from training, and I recently I have to come and directly join you guys. So there was no much time to no, no. think. But next time, definitely, I'll get him. Of course, we appreciate it. But, you know, Shaiji Chetan, I want to bring you in over here. SC's Bengal has had three different head coaches since the start of the season. Cannot be easy for the players, can it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, so so, so just on that theme, I know we wanted to explore how tough it was to have three different head coaches uh, to play under. So, why don't you take that up with, uh, with Adil? Right. So we 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 may be facing a bit of a technical glitch over. So, no. other, yeah, 
how how different has it been adil you know playing under three different head coaches uh you, so you've had of course you uh, you had manolo in the beginning of the season then you had uh, of course anity singh coming in as interim manager and now you you you're uh, playing under mario rivera who's also been a uh, coach of, uh, of of east bengal uh, previously as well so what were the three kind of different sort of styles that you that you were coached under under the three different head coaches Yes, of course. When you when you get uh, your season is not that great and you start changing the coaches, uh, you know, day in day out, it's it's, it's uh, definitely difficult because some different ideas from the from for example, if I go to speak about Manolo, I think he has different ideas. It didn't work in India for him. Uh, it was his bad luck. Uh, I think they should have a uh, little bit study more about uh, Indian football so that they they could have started in a better way. but uh, playing with different three different coaches of course it's difficult difference uh, in the beginning players were not happy uh, we were really uh, sad going for training there were no energy in the training sessions so everybody was sad but then uh, rani bhai come, comes in and he 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 was there with us since uh, since the beginning of the season and he knew he was very close with the with the players you know more than the coaches like he was more he was jailing with the players while like like you know for for Uh, time of the meals and all those things he was with us so he knew uh, what's going wrong like what players want what players want uh, from the coaches so that's what he changed he came in he gave us that energy he gave us that uh, gave us that positive mentality he told us we can still fight we know that a lot of uh, issues are going on uh, players are injured covid situation there is that but finally we have, we are the we are professional players and we we need to work for ourselves and and also he said the main important guy, uh, important words from him was if you all want to get contracts for next season because as is mango we have only one season one uh, you know uh, single single con- one year contract for all most of the players so renity bai told us if you all want contracts for next season you have to prove yourself and you have to fight and that's what we seen uh, him on the on the sidelines like with this energy and that's what worked for us and we started fighting we started fighting for each other we started fighting without foreigners we played i think with one foreigner one game and then without foreigner one game so it was definitely difficult but we adapted to it and it was uh, it was really good uh, time short time but very really good time with rani bai for four matches and then uh, coach rivera came in uh, he got some time to understand uh, uh, to analyze what's going on what's what's not going correct for us and he started improvising on it now we didn't get much time because we were isolated for almost four days because of covid uh, cases in our uh, in our hotel staff so but now we are getting time to work on it and what exactly want what exactly what he wants from us so in in coming matches i think we will see a lot of improvement uh, we are not keeping the ball much in the previous matches but now we will see a lot of changes players will get confident and they'll start playing the uh, the all all round football for sure no absolutely adil that's some fascinating insight and something that we don't yeah. usually get to hear mm-hmm. from from players uh, you know directly uh, so thank you for sharing that with us uh, really appreciate that and shaiju chetan adil brought up a very important point about how players need to be happy to be able to perform well don't they yeah yeah that's i want to i want to i want to add from that point only uh, adil the happiness the uh, suyash is asking about the happiness uh, and the energy so uh, you have Uh, not started for eight matches, and you got a start after eight matches, and uh, you replied with the hero of the match award. And how 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 much special that award for you, and how how you felt at that time? Uh, to tell you frankly, I was very disappointed in the beginning of the season. Uh, of course, it was my injury or let me down. Uh, couldn't start my uh, matches in the beginning of the season, and I I I will not blame coach in this because. i didn't play uh, even as a single um, practice match where the coaches see you all because they knew they are the new new one who comes uh, comes in uh, as a coaches and they didn't see me much in the in the pre season so it, it didn't work for me but, but then uh, before season starts i think i trained for almost 20 25 days with them with the team i expected my name after two three games two three games i was quiet because i knew that i'm not 100% fit to play matches uh, it, it's difficult you know to play after 6 7 months uh, coming in and directly play for a competition match so i was waiting for my chance uh, one match two match three matches and then started getting you know uh, frustrating frustration started growing in me and after 6 7 matches i lost it i couldn't uh, uh, take it so i went to coach and i i spoke to him 
and he said you are doing well when i come in the uh, in the second half but he is waiting for my chance to uh, to get in the first 11 so uh, it's it's really uh, uh, disappointing but uh, when i got my first start under rene dibai uh, rene dibai was not really convinced with my start uh, because even he was thinking that i am not 100% fit to start the match but uh, he didn't have any option uh, there was no there were no players fit uh, then he had to start uh, me in that uh, in that match and luckily i got my start and i had to prove myself to everyone not only myself everyone that i can still uh, be a be a leader in the team and i can guide the team because i have seen what was going wrong in the previous matches in the beginning uh, i mean, if we had to improvise a little bit in the defense if I, if i start talking a little bit with the with the players the young players who are playing in front of me uh, on the wings so if i can guide them i could have done that in the beginning of the season as well but uh, it didn't work for me but coming back in the line and i had to prove myself so that's the happiness uh, that happy i was uh, getting the start so i had to prove on the ground um, and i did i think i did well in this match against bangalore i got my start uh, yeah so really happy to come back in the team and uh, can i uh, adil can I, i i want to ask you a, a question uh, for regarding the national team also can i national team yes yes sure sure yeah. Uh, you you i think i think you 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 scored for india uh, one time so far one goal for yeah. interna- one goal for you international level and that you scored uh, in the historical salt lake stadium you are yes. vybk vivekananda yo bharatiya kridangana packed stadium india playing against bangladesh in the fifa world cup qualifying i still i still remember the date even you you remember the date your first international goal yeah, 15th 15. october 2019 15th october 2019 yeah the my question my question that was a brilliant brilliant goal by you and india made a brilliant draw 1-1 against bangladesh but just before uh, just before you scored that goal just before 5 minutes 5 minutes before you made a deadly goal line clearance so you as a center back and as a defender which one you keep it in your heart that goal or that clearance that goal line clearance of course the clearance was important if we had to concede that goal Uh, I think even if I had to score in the last minute, it wouldn't have counted. You know, uh, we would have been down by two zero. Of course, that uh, uh, that save was very uh, crucial. Uh, it was important for me. But the roar, what I heard after the after scoring goal, oh my God! Let's see, like I got my goosebumps. <laughs> you know, after that, I still get that 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 feeling when I was in that uh, stadium and after scoring that. i couldn't I, i actually don't know what, how to celebrate whether to celebrate or whether to go with the ball or what to do but it was my first goal i always say whenever i give my interviews i always always said uh, sorry to the fans because i had to uh, I, i actually had to take the ball and go for the second goal but then it was my first goal so i couldn't uh, you know i control my emotions so yeah the draw will always remain in my in my heart forever key <laughs> Key key point, uh, Suyash Pulastan Varun. Uh, key point is uh, Adil. Adil always can't control his emotions on the ground. With all your permission, with Suyash permission, I need to ask you one personal question. Can I, Adil? Can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. I, I, I again, I again want to remember you at date, which is eighth February, twenty twenty. February eighth, twenty twenty. The day which your son was born. Oh, look at that Kian, smile! Look at that Kian smile. Kian born, Kia, Kian ka birthday day, eighth February, twenty twenty. The same date, FC Goa played against Mumbai City FC for a crazy have, match. Three three zero. Yeah. So suddenly, when the when that uh, I think you heard about the uh, you heard about the all this hospital news in between the match. I think then you were emotionally on a very high this thing. And uh, the next moment, uh, you had a chat with uh, Adam Lefondre, jersey number nine, Mumbai City FC, and you were talking to Adam Lefondre, bro. My wife is in hospital; she is in labor room. And Lefondre, one them, he kya bol raha hai, gay? What he is talking about? And your coach, Juan Fernando, also confused. What my defender talking to opposite team forward? Kindly, kindly share that experience. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's an amazing experience for me. You now uh, I knew that she is uh, she was feeling it that uh, she will she will deliver soon this that day or maybe next day. I didn't know, but no, I knew that she is on the on on her way to hospital for sure. But then I got to I got the news uh, uh, when we went for water break in seventy fifth minute, 
and um, I, I someone told me that she is on the way and don't worry everything is fine so after water break i was going in and i just saw there was no uh, my my own team players were there and the front was just jogging with me so i just i couldn't control my emotions i was like i just need to vent it out i just want to you know share that thing to someone so the front was there and i told her the uh, front you know uh, bro you know uh, my wife just went to the labor and i'm very happy so he's like oh congratulations congratulations but he must be thinking why is he telling me but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, i couldn't i couldn't really you know i couldn't uh, control that uh, that time and i just wanted to wanted match to get over and get back to the dressing room and get my phone in my hand uh, to get the news you know how it is it was on my nerve and i was like i have to see what's going on so that was one of the thing um, i couldn't control my emotions that day also Well, well, Adil, belated congratulations from all of us here at the Let's Football Live Show and on the crew as well. Uh, Shaiju Chetan, you know, you've got these pearls and gems out of Adil. Even I didn't know that you'd done so much research on on Adil before you joined the show. So, so well done on that. And uh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please give me two more minutes, please, please. I Sh- one... Shai, Shai, Shaiju Chetan, if yeah, yeah, no, no. Now, now we're in a continuous loop. Shaiju Chetan, why don't you just go for it? Just go for it. Get get everything out at the same time. In fact, we just want you and Adil in the frame at this point of time. Let's do it. <laughs> so can I can I ask one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Adil, uh, one more personal question. One more funny question. Uh, why did you cut your long hair? Yeah, it was you. You were looking so beautiful in that long hair, and you just cut it. And I, we, we all need to know what was the reaction of your wife and baby looking at you without after the haircut. And you say, I would like to say that because you said beautiful now with long hair I was looking beautiful I wanted to look handsome you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, that is one of the thing because uh, I was I started losing hair you know uh, because of this covid uh, we cannot uh, take care of our uh, you know uh, hair and stuff we don't get that um, spa and stuff so we can't take care of hair too much so I was started losing hair so to avoid uh, getting bald soon because I'm still young I hope I think I need to play for more years. I should not look bald while playing, so that's why that's the reason I cut my hair. And uh, my wife never wanted me to cut the cut my hair because uh, she uh, likes me with the long hair. And the 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 way the time we met, uh, I had a long hair, so she never wanted to uh, lose that look. Uh, but if I if I go uh, go to say about um, their reaction. Uh, she started crying and she's like who's this guy i don't know this guy when i went when i went home it, we were we were in goa at my uh, my place uh, my family was there and everyone like they they saw me and they didn't recognize me they were like it's, they thought it's my younger brother and kuri knew that i had gone for a haircut uh, so when we when when i entered enter the room and she started crying and everybody was shocked to see me and then they looked at uh, kuri and she started crying and they were like why are you crying then she explained that uh, she never wanted me to cut cut my hair um, but i had to because i was losing my hair and already getting bald <laughs> and and what was the what was the expression of your baby baby was okay <laughs> baby was okay because he was very small that time he was okay i think uh, even he wanted me to cut my hair i think on one more reason i cut my hair because i know now he started now is when the, the time will grow he start pulling hair so kuri didn't want uh, to go through that alone she wanted me to be partner in that <laughs> you know you know okay. kids start pulling hair so that's one of the reason adil right adil even uh, one more one more adil even even we know all the football players are very strict diet followers even when the oh, even God, the, sorry, especially no. when the season is going but said, i know you are, you are but i know <laughs> i know one thing you can't resist you have to reveal in the lfl live show with thousands of uh, viewers live watching what is the what is the one thing you can't resist even on the diet days See, I control my diet a lot as much as uh, I can, you know. Uh, but when it comes to biryani, I'm sorry, <laughs> biryani, I can't, uh, I can't resist because uh, that's one of the thing I, I enjoy and enjoy while I'm eat, eating, you know. Uh, especially my mom, uh, when my mom made it, uh, make it. Sorry, so biryani is the thing I cannot. Uh, even if you tell me to. diet for 100 days i will i will diet but when it comes to biryani no chance i have see, i have said this in my previous interviews and and live like, shows and all but you like the kerala biryani uh, 
yes, but I like more with my uh, my what my mom made. Hyderabadi style. Huh? Yeah. Well, you know what, uh, Shayu Jetan, uh, we should actually now uh, on the show have Adil commit to a separate LFL episode with just Shayu Jetan and Adil in it because it's been a ride. It's been so much fun. But one thing, Pulas and Varun, one thing I'm sure of is that Adil was venting about hair loss to the wrong individual. <laughs> he was absolutely venting about hair loss to the wrong person. But Shayu uh, just know, wanted more people to join his community. You know. <laughs> 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 but you know, Adil, uh, very briefly now, we've gone through the fun stuff. I just want to bring it back to your on-the-pitch performances this season. And uh, Shaiju Chetan spoke about the hero of the match performance that you gave after sitting out of the team in eight consecutive matches. And I want to throw it to Pulast and Varun, both of you. Uh, Adil had a rock-solid performance in that game. Uh, so, uh, you know, do you think it was one of his best performances of the season? Or do you think that the hero of the match award was just maybe an embellishment to what have been a series of consistent performances by Adil Khan. We'll just have the visuals of that hero of the match performance come up right on the screen right away. Over to you guys. Varun, why don't you take this? Uh, I think uh, it was very important for him. This match, he was totally outstanding. And like I said, the fans were like always crying and shouting, why is Adil Khan not there, not getting playing time? And he got it finally. And he also needed to prove. And you know, like East Bengal is always uh, known as, like when they go in the back foot, they come back with a stronger, you know, impact and effect. They are called the Kocha Kawa Bag, basically, when they lose a game or something. So I think that effect was there clearly on Adil's uh, playing style. And he proved himself and he was outstanding. And we all were happy for his performance. And uh, his addition to the defense has been outstanding. So I, I, you know, I wish sometimes that he had started initially when the season started, the results could have been different for East Bengal. Pulas? No, certainly, certainly. I think. Um... I mean, I can't think of a lot of strikers who would want to come up against Adil if he's, if he's <laughs> slight, if his timing is tackles like that, especially. Um, but uh, no, I think overall, it, it is, Suyash, you do have a point. It is a, It probably was a reflection of a series of consistent performance, but I think Adil will take a hero of the match any day uh, and then, you know, rather not uh, think about it. But but there is one more, Adil, I have one more since since you've been so honest with all your, uh, with all your explanations. There was this... Uh, important juncture when you were supposed to come on in a game and it, this doesn't happen to a lot of footballers so i think for you also it must be very new that you've been warmed up you've kitted up and then to not come on i i agree that you know it must have angered you the emotions must be mm. skyrocketing but how does a football player on the pitch at that point what were you telling yourself to control yourself in a sense that okay this is probably wrong should not have happened with me but at the same time, you you have to maintain a certain composure because you're in the technical area. How difficult was it to contain yourself? Uh, it was difficult because when Franio got injured, I expected me, you know, even coach told me to warm up and I expected me to go, uh, you know, a personal to personal change. But uh, it didn't happen. And I was frustrated. And I, I remember I, I bang on the, uh, on the bench also because that frustration came out uh, from me. Because I was waiting for opportunity for seven, eight, eight matches, and that was the time. Uh, office, obviously, I will not ask for any injuries in the team. But when you get your, when you get someone, when we get someone injured on, in your position, and you are not getting that playing time, and you want to come in and prove yourself, that was the day I could have come in and I showed coaches, management, uh, fans, whom they were talking about like Adil is not playing and uh, the the results were not going our way. So it was all, all in all frustration was going on, and uh, I banged my, you know, hand on the on the bench, uh, but uh, I had to control because of the team, you know, we wanted to spoil the mood of the players. See, uh, surrounding sitting next to me, the young players were sitting. How will they react? Uh, how coaches will react? How management will react? So I had to control myself in that situation. But then we, when we considered the goal, and I was warming up uh, to go in the second half, uh, we considered the goal, and coach came and told me because I was. I was literally, I was thinking that it's not my day to day out as well. I think I will not get my playing time. So I was not warming up, you know, properly. I was not at its fault. It's it's my fault. Um, I shouldn't be uh, in that uh, zone. I should, I should, right. you know, just continue warm up properly to go in any time whenever the coach wants. And I said, sorry about it. Uh, I told them uh, it was my fault. So I had to control my emotion because of young players sitting around me and, uh, and and all because of that. And I wanted to uh, the team's mood to be good so that we come back in the second half stronger. A proper pro. 
Absolutely. Adil, thank you once again for sharing that with us. And lastly, right before you go, we've already spoken about Naurem Mahesh, who's a young, promising talent in your team. And Varun and I firmly are in the Hira Mondal fan club as well, because he's <laughs> had some outstanding performances uh, playing for SEs doing all this time. Varun, you actually had the chance to go to his house and meet his mother as well. So uh, why don't you take that up with Adil? Exactly. Like, I think he has been the only one who has been consistent and he has been outstanding and you defending like uh, all the striking force likewise. Like, even if it's a big threat or a small threat, he has been outstanding and only consistent performer in the East Bengal team. So, how has it been? Like, how do you look at the performer as in the youngster, like playing with you in the defense? I know this is his, uh, he's really good, good, good lad. You know, he listens what we say. Uh, he wants to improve every day in training sessions. We see him. We fight even same way. It's not nothing different. Uh, you know, some players they they save yourself, save uh, you know, yourself to to the match. You know, but for him, right. every, tra- every training session is a match for him. He fights for every ball. He goes for duels. He doesn't see whether it's foreigner or senior player or what. There's that. Uh, he's really a uh, really professional. I I've seen him eating good stuff. He was sleeping on time. Uh, everything like I've seen him in the gym working out on his physique. So all in all, I think uh, he's really an all-round, you know, player. Only thing you need to work a little bit on his um, oh. ball passes and you know timing of releasing the ball and try to keep the ball and help his uh, 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 attacking partner in the in the mm-hmm. attacking third. Uh, rest of the things he's doing really well. I'm happy for him. It's it's, it's his first season in the right. ISL. We if you don't forget that, I think he's doing really well. And if he work hard. And he continues doing yeah. that. I think he'll be in one of the one of the contenders for the national team in in centre back position. Hopefully, inshallah. I wish yeah. him luck. You know, Adil, uh, for that first part, it almost felt like you know all of those words could have held true even for you because you have a lot of the same qualities as well. You don't think of who the opponent in front of you is. You just put your heart in it, be it training session, be it, I mean, that's what we've heard on good account from a lot of people that you are hundred percent, be it training or be it on a match day and long may that continue. Adil, thank you so much for joining us here at the Let Football Live show. I know we're a bit greedy and we got a little carried away with the time. So, you know, we yeah. could have had more time with you as well, but maybe the next no, time. No, even hour. I enjoyed it. Even I enjoyed it. It's, it's next to share. Absolutely. Maybe after your next Hero of the Match uh, award later this season, who knows? And maybe, maybe, maybe in the derby as well, right? Because the derby is coming up, I believe, very, very soon. Yeah, Saturday. Is, I think, for, to to win the derby, I think uh, all of, all the players, if they are listening to me, if they are watching me here, I think all of them should think that everybody should get man of the match in that game, so that we improve yeah. our performance and win that derby for for fans, especially. Well, all the. All the best for that, Adil. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank See you soon. And here's Thank to a great season you. to you. Good luck, Adil. Thank you. See you, guys. See Cheers. You. I think, bar none, that was one of the most frank individuals and frank right. interviews we've had on the Let's Football Live show. I mean, absolute, absolutely brilliant to hear him speak like that. Pulis, uh, Shayu Chetan, Varun, have you ever seen Adil speak with such transparency before in, in any other interview? He, he does, he does actually, I mean, when you come, he does come across as somebody who will uh, speak his mind. Um, but at the same time, so he's been around for a long time. Uh, he, he's, he's careful with his words. At the same time, there's a very refreshing frankness about it. So I think all in all, perfect. And obviously you've got Shaiju here who can tease out no, uh, no, 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 no. lovely facts. Yeah, so. no, no. My point, my point, say, see, Soyash, my point is consider uh, Adil Khanna's uh, uh, Kalyan Mbappe. Consider Radhil Khan as Kalyan Mbappe. Interesting or, uh, comparison. Even ne- Neymar. But to score goals, Neymar has to get the assist from Mr. Polast, Mbappe or Mr. Barun or Mr. Shaju Damodaran or Suyash. Assist is the most thing. Ah, right. <sighs> Another brilliant analogy here on the Let's Football Live. Well done. <laughs> so, gents, we'll just power through because we have a lot more to talk about. Uh, before which, staying on the topic of SC East Bengal, you know, last weekend we had a certain individual wish SC East Bengal luck and it kind of turn things in their favor and there's a growing growing fan club which believes that that might actually have been something that helped SEs Bengal massively was it the difference take a look 
with the visuals coming up right about now. Namaskar, hi, hello. Aaj mukhu mukhi achhe Goa, East Bengal. Well, East Bengal. Shud Bangla jure na, India jure na, Bisho jure, koti koti fans. Ona ki hoy to hotash J C zene prathom joy ta ekona shini. Kintu ekta positive major bhalo point bolte chahiye. Bo chota draw kore chhe S East Bengal. Tar mundhe chatte draw jodi amra dekhi fixture se dekho na ekdom ek tu ghure ta ki. Tala kintu shi chatte team ei murte table ekdom topi achhe. Kerala Blasters, Jamshedpur, Hyderabad, ar Mumbai City FC or tha the team me. Potential touch here. She sparked Tom Radegashi, Remedy Singh, that impact, that effect, that the KDH, Rakun Chomok Mona Dakabakiache, Mario Rivera, Hadure, Spaniard Hato, Shetuletor, Prothom, Joyta, Shetahato, Aji Hotabar, Guar Birute, the best wishes, Rilo, East Bengal, a journey. So, so are we, are we coming to a consensus as to what? Team he supports more. A T K Mohan Bagan or S C is been. No, I'm still neutral. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we're gonna let it remain ambiguous for the rest of the season. We're gonna right. let it remain ambiguous. That's that's. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, Varun. But you know what? S C is been called the opponents. F C Goa have had a frustrating outing so far this season, and you know they 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 didn't exactly perform up to potential as well against S C is been called. You can see there's frustration rife within that camp. What needs to go wrong? Uh, but beg your pardon. What needs to go right, Pulas, for them to turn their season around? Because we still have a few matches to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, given that Adil was on the show, he would also tell you the same thing. FC Goa have to remind themselves who they are. Uh, they have to. They have to find that belief. This is FC Goa. You know, um, this is a team that has been doing consistently well over the last lot many seasons. Sometimes it does happen. As a group, you might need to be reminded: this is who you are. This is your history. This is what you're capable of. It's not about not having the players. It's not obviously there have been players missing. There's maybe Brandon is a missing key. Hopefully, he comes back. We can argue about personnel a lot of times, but they are creating chances, so that's not a problem. They're not putting them away. That that ruthless attitude that Goa had, that you know, they go onto the pitch and they're like, "Bye, where is he Goa?" We, we're gonna, we're probably gonna win this. That has gone. That fear factor, you know. And I think only a run of results can get that back. It's not entirely down to psyche. You have to keep winning. You have to positive things need to keep happening. It's been a bit stop and start. Um, but I think, I think they've they've got to regroup and they've got to start start looking at themselves. What can we fix? And and what can we do to bring back, you know, the days of happiness? And yeah. it's it's very evident that way. You know, I can say it on good account that out of all the teams I've seen play live so far this season, FC Goa, even though the results haven't really gone their way, their style of play and and even visually as a team on the pitch, they're so yeah. attractive to watch. They yeah. pass the ball around quickly with Noguera and Edu Bedia with those quick interchanges. Absolutely beautiful to watch. And here's hoping they do get their season around uh, and get a few positive results for their fans as well. Another team which has been doing well. Uh, in the race for the playoffs so i think this match uh, was uh, like can be a turning point for the culling warriors basically yeah you know and aridai cabrera also what a performance he had yeah. uh, in this match you know we'll we'll come to a, a highlight reel of aridai's as well right after this video is done but do you guys think he's among the sauciest players in the league this season with the with tricks up his sleeve at all given points of time shaju chetan do you enjoy watching aridai play yeah absolutely absolutely aridai's inclusion in the starting lineup uh, was the trump card in that match for odisha against northeast united actually uh, now odisha fc started realizing i would say they started realizing that uh, they had kept a diamond hidden all these times that i would i would say he is a diamond actually one goal and one assist played only 60 to 65 minutes and he substituted but he entirely controlled the game in between that 65 minutes and he just took away the game in between that 60 minutes so that's why i told odisha started realizing now they had they they hidden all these times a diamond actually aridai kabrara his inclusion in the starting lineup made all the difference so odisha has to keep it in their mind that in the coming games also we need to play this guy in the starting lineup so yes Yeah, you know, and they're they're in with a good chance of making it to the to the playoffs as well. They're not too far off from the fourth position, and if they do continue their form this way, uh, we might be seeing a very very interesting race to the top four 
awesome. another one you know we also want shaiju chetan to continue his form this way uh, for the rest of the let's football <laughs> live show as well because on point cracking cracking four after four after four uh, but uh, it's been it's been lovely it's been lovely uh, shaiju chetan to to see you in your element in in, in full flow in this uh, in this you episode <laughs> सुयाश यू एंड आई यू एंड आई मिस्ड वन क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ एक्चुअली मैंने छोड़ दिया था बिकॉज़ आई नो एट द टाइम इज ऑलरेडी वी क्रॉस 45 मिनट्स सो आई एक्चुअली वांट टू आस्क आई 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 सी माय वाइफ ऑलवेज से टू मी दैट इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू लिव विद यू बिकॉज़ आई एम अ कमिटेड ऑफ आवर एंकर सो व्हाट अबाउट या वी गेट दैट यू नो शाजी चेटर आई विश यू हैड ब्रॉट दैट अप बिकॉज़ नाउ आई हैव अ फीलिंग ऑफ a fomo inside me i'm like oh we could have got more out of adil over there but uh, no worries we'll, we'll pick that up with him the next time around as well and now i'm going to throw it to uh, my sutradhar on the spot which is uh, varun because we're going to have the upcoming fixtures and the points table come up next why don't you take us through this and why don't you tell us about which are the fixtures to look forward to in the coming week uh well of course uh, i'm looking at the home matches for my uh, you know state is like amun uh, bagan and he's bengal playing the next matches especially he's bengal and uh, hyderabad because he's bengal got their first win and so it's going to be an interesting match you know they will try to maintain that winning streak and if i look at the points table i think it's really interesting uh, shaiju chetan with a big smile because kerala blasters at the top but if you see only a points difference and jamshedpur fc always having considered the underdogs but they are right now the second spot so i think it's going to be an interesting race like for the next few matches few weeks it's going to be a very important time for all the teams because just 1.2 points of difference and anyone from the second half also who can make it to the first half so it's going to be a very interesting race for the playoffs this time no absolutely let's see how the next week goes and let's here's here hoping for a lot more matches in the upcoming weeks if the situation does remain stable uh shai ji tetan is under pressure no you just see varun <laughs> see See Varun, whatever, whatever you, whatever you told is the right thing because uh, Chennai and Goa, Bengaluru, Hyderabad, North East, and both the uh, Kolkata teams playing two, two, two matches in this coming week. So everybody has got a chance because see, right. you know, back to back good, two, two good back to back results can make you upside down. You are, it can shoot your points, na? True. No, absolutely, and that's what we love about the league. uh but more importantly guys please do take care of yourselves stay safe uh in these in these testing times and because this show was was featuring adil khan and we had a lot of scs bengal talk over here as well we leave you with uh heightened visuals of scs bengal's first win of the season against fc goa take a look at this guys this is for you scs bengal fans watching and from the rest of the lfl crew it's goodbye and we'll see you next week once again